Ben Sujuna. I'm going to demonstrate how I painted these two bigger fish. The painting is acrylic on canvas. I've been painting a range of subjects over the years. There was no underpinning theme in these subjects. I did a Japanese style painting of red crested cranes. I've painted the Japanese bride in watercolor. Traditional Japanese paintings are flat or two-dimensional. Mine are three-dimensional and realistic. I'm not Japanese, but I enjoyed painting Japanese subjects. I was born in Indonesia. I left when I was a teen. I want to explore doing Asian sub subjects in general. Another name for betta fish is Siamese fighting fish. They have a large variety of colors and patterns, much more than Japanese koi. Asians love their fish. You can find betta fish in Thailand, Cambodia, Laos, Vietnam, and Southeast Asia in general. I'm going to do a series of a variety of betta fish, but I'm going to start with a red one and a white one. Let the series begin. This is the first time I'm using a black canvas. A black background makes the colors pop, but ready-made black canvas is only available in smaller sizes. A large canvas shows more drama. I can turn a large white canvas into a black one by coating it with black gesso. I raise the canvas on a cardboard box platform. I pour and spread the first layer of black gesso. I apply a second layer of black gesso. If the canvas is white, I can trace the subject using a dark 4B pencil. It's harder to trace on a black canvas with a white pencil. So, I cut out templates for each fish. The templates have a sticky back. That lets me reposition them around the canvas. I can draw an outline on the template boundaries. This way I can compose the entire painting. The tricky issue is the fins are irregular. There are lots of tiny twists and turns. I trace an outline of the redfish on sticky paper. I make another template for the white fish. I adjust the position of the templates. I mark the outline of the red fish.
I marked the outline of the whitefish. I sketch the interior details of the redfish. Here, I emphasize the fundamental structure of the redfish. I sketch the interior details of the whitefish. I start painting the whitefish first because it's easier. The rays on the fins don't have subtle shades and textures. I begin by laying the base color for the whitefish's body. I start laying the base color for the tail fin. I paint details of the tail fin. I refine more details for the tail fin. I paint the details of the body and the rest of the fish. I correct the color and shading across the white fish.
The redfish is much more complex. The fins have more variations in shape and color. I spend most of my time on the redfish fins. Hang on for the ride. I paint the base layer for the tail fin of the redfish. I correct the shading of the base layer of the tail fin. I paint the ray details of the darker fin. I give more body to the ray details of the darker fin. I further develop the shading on the lighter fins. I paint the details of the rays on the second half of the darker fin. On the second half of the darker fin, I elaborate the rays. I 
I correct the rays on the second half of the darker fin. I paint the base layer where the tail fin meets the body. I paint the rays on the lightest part of the fin. I correct the rays I just painted. I refine the details on the rays in the second lightest fin. I refine the details on the rays in the second lightest fin. In the second lightest fin, I refine the shading of the rays. I add detail to the tail. I correct the shading on the tail. I add more detail to the tail. I paint the first layer of the body.
I paint the second layer of the body. I correct the colors on the body. I correct the rays on the top fin. I correct the edge of the top fin. I correct the mouth area. I finalize with some minor error corrections and signing on the corner. I make minor corrections to the whitefish and sign the painting.
see the final painting on ben-sujourno.pixels.com. If you like the video, please subscribe to this channel and like my Facebook page. Thank you for watching.